Hello, today I am going to show you how you can do database connectivity between ASP.NET and MySQL. So first of all, I am going to create a website. Okay. Now we have to add here one page. Okay. Now here we are going to take two text spots and one button here I have to take one text box now I have to take another text box Now I have to take one button. Okay, now we are going to check here. Okay, so we have one small design. Now we are going to create MySQL database. So for create MySQL database, you have to use localhost PHP MyAdmin. If you want to use this type of MySQL version, then you have to install one Zem. You have to install this Zem control panel. So you will get like this. Now here I'm going to create one database. On this database, I'm going to create one text word, no, sorry, one table with two field name and city 100 100 now save so we already created one table now here we have to add one reference when you want to do database connectivity between ASP.NET and MySQL then you have to add one library and that is most important this is the library DLL file if you want to use this DLL file then read my video description I already put path of this DLL file so you can get easily now ok so you can see we have here dll file now we have to do database connectivity over here okay now we have to use this library now we have to use using system.data this both are most important so don't forget that now we have to use this connection string so we use this connection string and here we have to use our database name port is 3306 host name is localhost so this everything is same now we have to use mysq underscore testing user id is root and password is blend so everything is good now now we have to do database connectivity here connection open then connection close then mysql command cnv dot command type command type dot text cmv dot command text and here we have to write our insert query insert into table one and then values here we have to write 
that's for store dot text and in last we have to use cm dot execute non query now i am going to run this you can see right now we don't have any record amit rajkot and going to press this button and we will check here you can see we got this record now i am going to perform delete operation i will show you insert update delete and display so everything should be clear insert now we are going to add another button this button for delete now we are going to add third button and this button is for update and in last i am going to take one more button and it is for display now for delete operation we have to just copy this paste here and we have to change here query delete from table 1 where name is equal to text spots 1 dot text now i am going to run this okay now we check here we have one record name amit so i am going to write here amit and press this delete button now we are going to check here we do not have any type of record so now we are going to perform this display operation and last we are going to perform update operation so here i use one br text and take here one grid view okay so for this we have to again copy paste this now here we have to pass select query here we have to do data table mysql data adapter here we have to pass cmd now we have pass and did we one dot data source is equal to dt and read we one dot data pint now we are going to run this but right now we do not have any type of record so i have to insert this here record now insert and i am going to display here now you can see we get here record now i am going to add another record can see we have three records now so now i am going to perform update operation so for this update operation this four line should be same i have to just change only query update table one set name where name where name is a old name text box value so i am going to write uh, old name in text box one and i write new name in text box two now now first we will display this record now i want to change rajas in place of amit so i write amit and then rajas and then update 
now i am going to display so you can see here i got record rajas so this way we can do database connectivity between asp.net and mysql thank you